Hi everyone, welcome to this series on Agile for the Agile Certified Practitioner, a great way to jump more deeper into the Agile methods and really figure out what it's all about. This one we're looking at is the Declaration of Interdependence. Now the people who established the guiding principles of Agile uh, project management released a document in 2005. So the original document was in 2001, uh, this is in 2005, and this is called the Declaration of Interdependence. And this was to serve as a value system for Agile project managers. So now we've got core values for Agile project managers that they can use to, um, to, to perform Agile on their projects. And with this, we're looking at, you know, here's the, here's the cast, uh, the Agile cast, who sort of created this. And, you know, it's a cast, an amazing cast of people who've helped organizations become more Agile over the years um, and have really contributed to this methodology, uh, who really founded this methodology. So, you know, a wonderful, a wonderful wall of probably the best of the best that you will see out there as well. And this is a really great thing to see. But what is the Declaration of Interdependence? Well, it's six principles. So let's jump into the first one. Uh, first of all, we increase return on investment. And we do that by making continuous flow of value our focus. So what does that mean? Well, we're continuously building something. So features, perhaps, uh, feature-driven development, where we, where we uh, build the feature model and then we figure out how to do it. And then we break that down into story cards and then we actually deliver that feature and then we deliver the next one. Um, or we learn from that and then we build, you know, we, we iterate on that and we improve it over time. It's also the Kanban model. So Kanban uh, is our Kanban board traditionally or from the, from the Toyota production system. Kanban card is really just a, a sign board or a sign card telling people that, you know, they can take the next bit of work or that they need to produce some work. But for a Kanban board, it's a, it's a card that moves across the board. So they can see that uh, continuous, and if each of these cards is a piece of a feature, then you can see that continuous value being delivered you know, over time. And it's moving across the board until it is done. And that is the idea behind the first principle of the Declaration of Interdependence. So let's look at the second one. Uh, we deliver reliable results by engaging customers in frequent interactions and shared ownership. Now this is the product owner as well. So this is the whole team approach where everyone is getting involved, but also we're touching base with the customer very frequently. So usually within our two week iterations, uh, we're at least delivering something that the customer can see, feel and touch. And they can say, you know what, this is exactly what I had in mind or this isn't what I had in mind. And now we can adjust if we absolutely need to. So frequent interactions with our customers where we're not separated from our customers, we're really engaging with them. Principle number three, we expect uncertainty and we manage for it through iterations, anticipation and adaptation. So really uh, by iterating and uh, you know, if we've got two weeks and we've got two weeks and then we're delivering something in between and that's a, a feature or a part of a feature, then uh, if we need to adjust, we can in the next iteration. And then, uh, so really we're not waiting one whole year to deliver something and then find out that it's not what the customer wanted. So we expect that uncertainty and we stay close to the customer and to the process in order to manage that uncertainty. And we do that through iterations. Principle number four, we unleash creativity and innovation by recognizing that individuals are the ultimate source of value. So it's not processes, it's not tools, it's the people that we're working with. That's where the creativity comes from that's where the brainstorming you know ideas come from that's where the problem solving comes from and that's really really important and we're wanting to create an environment where they can make a difference so what that means is is again that whole team approach co-located hopefully where we've got all the team in the one place and you can just look over your shoulder and say hey Billy you know I, I need this thing or you know, can you answer this question for me and they can say yes we can get really quick answers and we're touching base with the customer really quickly as well so we can get quick answers from them. And all of that is an environment where we can make a difference because we have the answers at our fingertips. Principle number five, we boost performance through group accountability for results and shared responsibility for team effectiveness. So that means everyone is responsible for quality on an agile project. And that's one of the principles that you'll come across as well. You know, so is the designer uh, pr responsible for quality? Well, yes. Is the product owner responsible for quality? Yes. Is the customer responsible for quality? Yes. Are the developers responsible for quality? Absolutely. And so all of these things, uh, everyone is working towards the same shared goal. And that's one of the most important things as well. The last principle we're looking at is number six. We improve effectiveness and reliability through situationally specific strategies, processes and practices. And so this means that we're, that we, we're adjusting or tailoring to the situation. You know 
what? Not every situation is going to need Kanban and not every situation is going to need Scrum or Extreme Programming or Feature Driven Development or Crystal or all of those things. You can take the pieces that make sense for your current environment and make sure that they work as long as you're meeting the other principles where you're delivering value to the customer regularly and getting that feedback and iterating towards success. So the principles from the Declaration of Interdependence can help guide your team's core values and way of work as you build and improve Agile within your organization. So it's a great way, you know, you've got those core values, you can build them into your team charter, you can build them into your way of work, and that way everyone is on the same page and they come straight from the source, which is this amazing crew of some of the best of the best, and so you know you are in good hands. And that is the Declaration of Interdependence.